Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Boops One Stop Shop, y'all. So, today I got a package in the mail. Um, EKB. So, I just got some white lip liquid pigment. And, uh, Guys, we'll find out why in another video. All right, but today's video is basically on the money challenges. I told you guys that I was going to be saving this year. I asked you guys to save as well. So in the comments, y'all can tell me how much y'all have been saving. So we are now on the first day of March. So we're going to see how much we saved through February. All right. So, um, I don't even have to take this out the back, but these are our quarters. Y'all don't mind the labels. My label machine decided to go out. So, we got four quarters. So, we got a dollar for our quarters. For our nickels, we got 20 cents. And I'm writing this in a notebook, y'all will see at the end. For our dimes, so, we do got a few dimes here. So, two, four, six, eight. So we got a dollar and twenty cent in dimes, and I'm not doing this the traditional way where you're supposed to like put a certain amount in and whatever, whatever. Cause like I said, I use my cards more than I use real cash. So this is basically when I get change and stuff like that. So we got our pennies. Six. So we got 25 cents in pennies. All right. We're going to get on to our ones here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so we got $19 in ones. Almost 20. Ooh. And I'm just putting them back in the bags right now. Next is fives. All right, y'all. So we got the fives, and it's three fives. All right. So 15 bucks. Yes. And of course, we got our 20s. All right, one twenty, two twenties, three 
1920s. So we got $60 and 20 so I'm right now. So the goal was to double what I saved last month. And I think we did that. <laughs> I can honestly say we did that. But before we do the total, I'm just going to use this zip lock. I'm going to put all the money in one zip lock. I did last month. And everything. Real quick. The grand total. This is February savings. And I still got January on in here. January savings. February savings. Definitely looks like we saved way more. <laughs> so I'm gonna share my screen. We're going to tell you that real quick. See how much we saved. So let me share the screen here. Bring up our calculator here. All right, so we had 20 cent for our nickels. We had 25 cent. For pennies, we had 19 bucks. For our ones, we had 15. We had 15. For our fives, we had 60. For our twenties, we had a dollar 20. Yeah, dollar twenty for our dimes, and we had another additional dollar for our quarter. So we saved almost a hundred bucks this month, y'all. So ninety six sixty five is our total. We definitely doubled it, so we're gonna add last month's total, which was forty one ninety one, to it. So so far we have saved one hundred thirty eight dollars and fifty six cents in two months. That's not bad. That's not bad. And like I said, um, I don't touch money that often. <laughs> I use my debit card, swipe and go, swipe and go. Um, especially right now with tax season, I'm not using a whole lot of regular cash. I am using my debit card everywhere. So um, this is basically from cash in hand. And I don't have a whole lot of cash in hand. All right, so... As you can see, I wrote my totals in. So we got January and we got February. So y'all can see the difference between them. So definitely saved more this month than last month. And I'm proud of that. So next month, definitely going to try to double that. So, um, yes. So... That is how much I saved in February. Y'all like my little book? I think I got this from, um, I want to say Dollar General for like two bucks, maybe. Or Walmart. Nope. 
It's Walmart tag on the back. It's a Walmart tag on the back. So, and I like it because of this. A magnet, baby. That magnet. But I thought it was super cute. And it's uh, basically my... Oh my basically my budgeting book everything so I'm gonna cover this top part and basically this is where I keep up with stuff so as y'all can see I told y'all I got a notary business so I got the notary app at the top the notary commission at the bottom and um, keeping track of how much everything cost and all that and basically what I just covered up was my expiration so y'all can't steal it because I didn't show y'all my full name on here so I just covered up my expiration for my commission so nobody can try to duplicate that bad boy but yeah y'all that's all I got for y'all this video I haven't gotten to um clean out the containers pain has been wreaking havoc the last few days of my life so I've been kind of sit back in and chilling for a hot second but um and then today my detergent decides to disappear when i decide to wash them so <laughs> i gotta go to the store tomorrow and buy some so and y'all i was in the walmart store the other day and saw the big boy bottle for like eight bucks and i was like i'm not gonna get it my dumb behind should have got it because i didn't know i couldn't find the other ones but i'm gonna go back and get it tomorrow it's, it's a huge bottle too it's probably like a gallon or better it's like i can't even put my hands all on the screen but it's, it's a big bottle so i'm gonna go back and get two of those and i'll be good for cleaning my containers y'all like my pen well got it from staples i got a whole pack from staples So I feel important. <laughs> got the flag on my pen. I feel important right now. But um, yeah, so that's how much I saved y'all in February, March. We're gonna go in saving too. Um, like I said, I'm not touching a whole lot of cash in hand, so it may be bank savings for March. Cause let me tell y'all, I actually did put thirty, thirty, three hundred dollars in my savings in the bank when my taxes hit, but. I spent it back on inventory. Like, I literally moved it all back for inventory. So, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person, I buy stuff while I have the money in hand. Like, some people, they'll wait and be like, dang, I want that. I'm buying everything while I have money in hand. Um, I'm about to buy some more heat presses as well um, so that I can do some things. I can tell you what's coming, but so I can do some things um, and add them to my business. Um, there's an all-in-one heat press where it has five different contraptions, but I don't like that heat press because you have to wait for it to cool all the way down before you can switch the stuff out. So I would rather just have five separate ones. That way I can go over here and do 20 of this on this one. While that one's cool, I can jump to another one, do 30 or 40 of this on that one. Then while that's cool, I can jump to the next one. I, I really like to be able to move, dip and dabble and go on about my business. If I gotta wait a whole hour and two hours for this part to clear it, cool down for me to jump to the next thing, it slows down production in my opinion. After I watched the video, I was like, I don't want all in one. I want five different ones so I can keep it pushing. Um, also, if I have employees, I can say, oh, you do this one, you jump on this one, I'm gonna be on this one, and you jump on that fourth one over there in the corner. And everybody can be doing stuff, production keeps rolling. Um, you know, I think a five one would be good if you don't have a a big big uh order and you got time to do it. A five one would work. You got time to let it cool all the way down, switch the parts out, keep moving. But if you like in production production, I rather have five different machines so I can put five different people to work at the same time and be like, all right, you do thirty of that, you do forty of this, you do twenty of that, you do forty of this, and we keep production time moving. Um period. So But yeah, so how are y'all budgeting? Are y'all doing the money challenges and things? I'm doing them, but I'm not doing them, like I said, how the chart says to do them because I don't have cash in hand. You know, I'm not working a regular nine to five. So right now I have no 
flowing income basically so i can't do it as the church says do it i'm doing it however and when it comes through i'm sliding on in there so so yeah so like i said we may not have anything in these things for march because like i said i'm not dealing with a whole lot of money in here unless i get cash back and start dealing um and a lot of stores aren't doing cash back because of the money shortage so yeah but if this next stimulus comes out most of that will probably go into savings or we'll go into buying something else for the business so i decide when it gets you but yeah y'all that's it we are on day 60 we are on day 60 today, going into our third month of 365 days of hustle, y'all. We got nine more to go. So, um, I'm definitely going to have some um, bangle sets coming out for y'all. I'm working on the Zodiac ones as we speak. Um, I just made a new order with my girl, JKT0626. If you haven't checked her out on Instagram, go to, I believe, my last video or a couple videos back her instagram link is in there check her out check her out um i think she told me that she's restocking uh later on this week so she's definitely probably gonna have some new stuff coming in i don't know what you know i don't know what new charms or what charms she's getting but um i just did an order today because i had an idea for some bangles and um this other young lady that i was gonna order from i can't find the instagram she was running the great, 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 great deals, like cheap, 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 but I can't find the Instagram, so I don't trust it, you know, people scamming out here, so being that I can't find the Instagram that I actually clicked it off, off of, I didn't do the order, and I had like a hundred and something dollars worth of stuff in the cart, I, didn't, I just abandoned the cart, the cart's still sitting there, um, but if I ever run across the Instagram again, then I will order, but as of right now, I can't find the Instagram for the company so she just lost out on a hundred some dollars because i can't find her instagram which kind of hurts because um her price is right <laughs> right it was right right um but jkt0626 her prices are right too so there's like no real i'm gonna be honest they prices maybe a dollar or two difference on stuff maybe if that um or whatever so and i and i love i love i love my homegirl in pa like i think um we're gonna have to do a business collaboration at some point um i don't know what yet but i'm thinking i'm thinking about it all year i will be ordering and buying from black owned businesses so um that was gonna be the next black owned businesses black owned business i bought from but like i said i couldn't find the instagram um but I'm gonna just drop a bombshell in this video. The next black owned business I'm going to order from is Go Lucky Charms on Instagram. So um, probably within the next week or so, I'm gonna order from her too, cause she's got some uh, beads and stuff that I want. So I'm gonna support her business next. So your business could be next. All year I'm gonna support black owned businesses. If we don't support each other, man, we die out. We're a dying breed. All right? All right? All these other cultures, they support each other. The Indians, they buy from the Indians. Caucasians, they buy from the Caucasians. Like, they're keeping it in their community. You feel what I'm saying? So, buy black. I'm not saying only buy black, but buy black. Support your fellow brethren. Y'all see me. I'm just doing this with my pen. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, bye, black, man. When somebody says, oh, I'm opening a business, support it. You know, there's a few people. Um, I got a cousin and a homegirl. They both got um, uh, lash businesses. I can't support that. <laughs> I don't wear lashes. So I would be buying it, be buying it, because it wouldn't. I would never wear it. So um, I'm waiting for them to expand, to, to put something else on there i got i got two other cousins one's doing personal uh fitness i got a, and the other one has a whole freaking gym i believe so i i have some entrepreneurs in the family and i'm excited about it 
you know what I'm saying? And I'm waiting for the right type of opportunity to support all of them in different ways. Um, but yeah, definitely going to collab with the fam. But, um, but yeah, y'all, so that's it for this video. Day 60, kind of bittersweet. When I say 60, my mother was, uh, 60 when she passed. So that's kind of bittersweet for me. Um, but, um, also you guys, Instagram, my numbers are rising. We in the 600s over there. Let's see if we can get these numbers up a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to get monetized. You know, if I get to 600 subscribers, I'll be happy. <laughs> For real, I'm not trying to get 100,000 subscribers. 600 is, is the max out that I'm trying to hit, however long that takes. Um, you know, Instagram, 1,000 is my max out that I'm trying to hit. Um, if I get more than that, cool, but 1,000 is what I want. Once I get to 1,000, I am going to do a business giveaway for upcoming business coming up behind me. I already know what I want to give away. I already priced the stuff. Um, I just haven't bought it yet but um whoever gets this stuff when i do this giveaway you're gonna be set <laughs> you're gonna be good like good good i'm gonna have a whole vendor list for you everything like you're gonna be super set when i'm done with this giveaway but that won't come until i hit a thousand subscribers either on youtube or instagram whichever one comes first i will do the giveaway after that so yep so i holla